Hi, this is Sudha Chandran. I have finished my bachelor's in aeronautical engineering. Now I am going to give a brief description about performance analysis and as well as the design of air vehicle propulsion or aircraft propulsion system. So, what is aircraft propulsion system? Aircraft propulsion system is nothing but it's, it's, uh, it includes the aircraft engines, gas turbines, propellers, and the propulsive nozzles. What are the things producing the thrust within the engine section? These are all the comes under the aircraft propulsion system. So, to give you a better performance and a better efficiency of the aircraft engine, the aircraft propulsion system must achieve two things. The first one is uh, the thrust from the propulsion system must balance the drag, that is when the airplane in acceleration condition. And the second one is the thrust from the propulsion system must exceed the drag, that is when the airplane in acceleration condition. So this is the two things achieve the aircraft propulsion system for a, a better performance as well as the if better efficiency of the aircraft engine. And this is the simple propulsion system diagram and it have a compressor, turbine, combustion chamber as well as the uh, exhaust system and uh, work output by a turbine. And here the, here the process is nothing but the, this is the air compressor from compressor within the engine by means of compressor. Here the, the propulsion system is uh, operated by means of Brayton cycle. That is 1 to 2 is the compression process. That is the air is compressed from the atmosphere. It is sent to the dax to the combustion chamber for combustion process. And 2 to 3 is the air heat addition process. That is by means of combustion. Fuel and mixture of mixture of fluid. It is ignited within the combustion chamber by means of spark flame. And 3 to 4 is the expansion process where that is a uh, turbine it is, it is used to uh, drive in the compressor as well as the extract the flow from the uh, combustion chamber. And array 4 to 1 is the heat, eject, heat rejection process that is uh, the exhaust gases. This is the simple propulsion system operating by means of the Brayton cycle. And actually I move on to the Brayton cycle. This is the two diagram for Brayton cycle. One is a pressure versus volume diagram, and another one is temperature versus entropy diagram. Here we let's see about the pressure versus volume diagram. Here the one to two is a compression process. That is a, here I told already told that this air is compressed from the atmosphere it's there to the combustion chamber, and two to three is the heat addition process. That is combustion process uh, within the two to three section, and uh, three to four is the uh, Expansion process, so here the entropy is constant in 3 to 4 expansion process. Again, 4 to 1 is the uh, heat rejection process, that is the uh, gases exhaust from the combustion chamber. This is the cycle for pressure versus volume, and next one is temperature versus entropy entropy cycle. That is, if 1 is 2 is the compressor, this is the means of the compressor air from the atmosphere, and 2 to 3 is the uh, heat addition process here to in 2 to 3 section the pressure is constant in uh, by means of the temperature and the entropy entropy cycle and 3 to 4 again 3 to 4 is the ex expansion process and 4 to 1 is the heat addition process here 4 to 1 is uh, here the four heat addition process the pressure is constant in the temperature versus uh, entropy entropy cycle this is the small introduction about the propulsion system as well as the Brayton cycle Generally, propulsion system is operated by means of uh, Newton's third law of motion. That is, uh, when the thrust force is acted towards the downward direction, uh, according to the Newton, uh, Newton's third law, every reaction has equal and opposite reaction. So, the airplane will automatically go more towards the opposite direction. The, the, all the propulsion systems works based on the Newton's third law of motion. This is some example for the air vehicle propulsion system that is. Uh, Turbine or turbine jet and propellers, ROM jets, cram jets, which uh, is used in the rocket engines as well as spacecraft engines. Next, let's move on to the what are the design considerations we are going to consider uh, for designing the uh, aircraft engines as well as the aircraft propulsion system. First one is propeller. Generally, propellers are uh, generally propellers are. Uh, made by means of air foil section so so that only the air is uh, compressed from the atmosphere and the blades are produced more, uh, more air from the uh, atmospheric section towards the engine here the air, 
Here the lift produced by means of the uh, propeller is called a thrust and this is the leading edge as well as the trailing edge and this is the tip of the propeller as well as the edge of above the propeller. So by means of the rotating the propeller we will get the thrust by means of the uh, combustion section. And here the, here the angle between the resultant uh, relative velocity as well as the blade rotation direction is nothing but the helix angle is the angle uh, within the uh, propeller section. So to find out the efficiency of the propeller that is uh, by using this formula pro uh, propulsive power output of the engine or uh, by means of the uh, shaft power input of the engine. Uh, next let's move on to the compressor design. By designing the compressor we are considering the that is by means of compressor is designed two things. One is concave as well as the uh, convex section. This is the uh, rotational bed as well as the stationary blade. The rotational speed and dimension are con considered we are going to the design the compressor as well as the number of stages within the wing section and hair angle at the relative stage and variation of aircraft angle from the root to the tip. This is the exact consideration we are going to design in the uh, compressor of the aircraft engine. Next let's move on to the turbine. Generally turbine is used to accept the air gases from the combustion chamber. So it has to be it has to be designed convex as well as the concave concave manner. Here the rotational speed and dimensions as well as the air angle at the each stage and the number of stages within the turbine sections we are considering for the uh, designing the turbine, turbine of the aircraft, uh, aircraft uh, engine. Next we are let's move on to the uh, nozzles of the engine. Generally nozzles is one of the place important roles in the aircraft engine. So first we are find out the uh, ex uh, inlet diameter as well as the exit diameter of the nozzle. Once find out in this we call that the Brass thrust coefficient which is nothing but the actual thrust bar to the ideal thrust which is the inlet thrust to the ideal thrust. Another one is discharge coefficient. Discharge coefficient is nothing but the actual mass flow rate to the uh, ideal mass flow rate of the engine. Once calculating the, these two things as well as uh, grass thrust coefficient as well as the discharge coefficient, we find out the throat diameter that is throat diameter is within the engine section. This is the nozzle. The drop plays an important role on the nozzle to uh, constrict the flow from the combustion chamber. And next one is uh, velocity coefficient. Velocity and uh, another one is uh, nozzle thrust coefficient. These are the uh, thrust consideration for the uh, when you are going to designing the uh, aircraft components, engine components like propeller, turbine, nozzle, and as well as the compressor. Next one is uh, designing the uh, aero engine components. This is the exact schematic diagram for the turbojet engine. Here is having uh, diffuser, compressor, combustion chamber, or uh, burner as well as the turbine and nozzle. First, we are going to design the inlet of the turbojet engine. So, we are designing the uh, inlet of the turbojet engine. For first, we are find out the temperature as well as the pressure of the uh, uh, turbojet engine. We are targeting the temperature of the turbojet engine. That is T not equal to Ta plus 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by 2 divided by 20 m square. Here T not 2 is the temperature of the inlet temperature of the uh, turbojet engine. As well as that uh, Ta is the temperature at the ambient condition. Uh, gamma is nothing but say, got say constant that is 1.4 and m square is nothing but the mass flow rate of the turbojet engine. And next one is uh, pressure, uh, pressure at the inlet which is nothing but the ambient pressure and the T naught 2 divided by T A and whole power gamma minus gamma mind, gamma minus 1. This T naught 2 is nothing but the inlet temperature of the turbojet engine as well as the P A is nothing but the ambient pressure within the, uh, the at the inlet section of the turbojet engine. Next one is compressor. Compressor to find out the compressor area of the uh, turbojet engine that is pi C rho oh, pi C P naught 2. Uh, pi C is the pressure ratio, P naught 2 is nothing but the pressure at the inlet of the uh, turbojet engine and finally is a combustion chamber to find out the efficiency of the combustion chamber that is T04 divided by T03 minus 1 to Q R into C P T04 minus T04 minus T03 this is the exact equation for calculating the efficiency of the combustion chamber as well as the uh, uh, designing considerations of the combustion chamber and next one is turbine uh, so to find out that uh, that is work turbine equal to work compressor general turbine is operated by means of the uh, engine, power, engine power as well as the compressor is operated by means of the turbine. When the turbine is rotated, then only the compressor is operated. 
So the work turbine equal to work, work compressor. So MTCP into T naught four minus T naught S equal to MACP into T naught three minus T naught two. That is work turbine equal to work compressor. So for find out the temperature as well as the pressure in the turbine. T naught four minus T naught three divided by one plus one plus one plus F. So this is the exact equation for to find out the temperature of the turbine as well as the Pressure of the turbine converting P naught four into T T naught S divided by T naught four into gamma minus gamma gamma power gamma minus one. Right? This is the exact equation for to find out the uh, turbine work input as well as the compressor work input. Next, let's move on to the nozzle designing method. Generally, nozzle already explained the uh, how to design the nozzle considerations as well as the nozzle designing methods. First one is the uh, gas thrust position, that is the actual thrust by ideal thrust. And such coefficient, uh, the uh, drop diameter as well as the velocity coefficient and the nozzle thrust coefficient, and as well as the uh, inlet diameter of the nozzle as well and the exit, the exit diameter of the nozzle. So this is the exact procedure to find out the uh, designing the nozzle of the aircraft engine, and it's uh, ideal turbo fan engine and uh, ideal turbo uh, turbo fan engine for. Uh, Uh, station numbering scheme as well as the unmixed turbo scan engine for station uh, numbering scheme. And this is the uh, number shows the Bratton cycle for the ideal turbo fan engine. That is the heat addition, expansion, compression, and uh, and uh, finally as well as the exhaust exhaust process. And let's move on to the inlet of the uh, to find out the inlet geometry of the uh, uh, ramjet engine. That is T na two equal to T A into one plus. Uh, Gamma minus one divided by two into m square. Here, yeah, where the T is the ambient ambient temperature, and gamma is nothing but the specific value of the inlet, that is 1.4, and m is nothing but the mass flow rate of the inlet. And next one is fan fan for the turbo uh, to find out the the diameter of the turbo fan turbo fan engine, that is P naught three equal to pi F divided by uh, P naught two whole square. So this is the exact equation for to find out the uh, Fan pressure as well as the temperature of the fan in turbo fan engine. The next one is compressor. Compressor is uh, it's, uh, it's uh, calculating the same equation from the turbo jet engine and the combustion chamber and turbine uh, as uh, in turbo fan engine is having a low pressure turbine as well as a as high pressure turbine. And finally, primary nozzle, secondary nozzle in the turbo fan engine by using uh, LEF whole square equal to uh, equal to H not one plus H not one whole square equal to Uh, equal to two C P T naught three into one minus P A into P A divided by P naught three or power gamma minus one divided by gamma. This is the exact equation for to find out the primary nozzle, the primary nozzle design as well as the secondary nozzle of the aircraft engines. Next, let's move on to the performance analysis of the air vehicle propulsion system. First one is engine inlet. To find out the engine inlet uh, performance analysis, first one is flow capacity, which is nothing but the W equal to uh, pi into A into B. Uh, pi is nothing but the it's a constant value from the NOPA design one serial screw. And another one is uh, A is nothing but the efficiency area, and B is nothing but the ratio of specific heat. And this is the exact equation for to find out the inlet efficiency of the ramjet engine. And next one is compressor. So here, compressor efficiency is calculated by means of the work output, that is, uh, ideal work to the uh, actual work, that is, uh, pressure exit divided by pressure inlet divided by uh, T uh, temperature exit as well as the temperature inlet within the compressor section. And final one is compressor efficiency. Compressor efficiency, compression chamber efficiency is uh, by means of the actual enthalpy rise as well as the ideal enthalpy rise in the working working section, that is, uh, F H B equal to nothing but the fuel heating value and as well as WF is nothing but the fuel flow of the uh, uh, turbo jet engines. And final one is turbine. Turbine is nothing but the actual work by ideal works is the so same formula calculated by means of the compressor. So one minus P divided by T I uh, divided by one minus uh, P minus P, P divided by P I into rho whole power gamma minus one divided by gamma. This is the exact equation for calculating the, the turbine efficiency of the turbo jet engine. Next, let's move on to the ramjet engine. Ramjet engine is nothing but a uh, low weight engine compared to the turbo jet engines. It is don't have the turbine as well as the compressor for the uh, compression process. 
And generally, the, these types of engines are used in the rockets as well as the spacecraft in the engine. So this is the exact, uh, exact layout for the ramjet engines having supersonic compression as well as subsonic compression and the combustion chamber as well as the exhaust nozzle. Generally, these types of nozzles uh, for use in the spacecraft as well as the rockets in the uh, aircraft propulsion system. This is the ideal ramjet engines uh, uh, temperature as a enthalpy diagram for ideal ramjet engines. That is, A22 is the isentrophic compression in the intake process. That is, air is compressed from the atmosphere it sucks through the combustion chamber and 224 is the combustion at the constant pressure and 427 is the isentrophic expansion to, through the nozzle section and to find out the specific, uh, specific thrust of the ramjet engine that is CF equal to force by mass flow rate the equal, which is nothing but VA into M, M into V minus VA minus 1 plus A into A A1 plus uh, PA into rho A VA into P minus uh, P A divided by 1 where uh, M is nothing but 1 plus F which is calculated from the fuel area ratio and A, A1 and A is the area of flow entry at the entry as well as the exit of the uh, ramjet engine and P A as well as the P e is nothing but the ambient and exit pressure of the uh, uh, ramjet engines. This is the ramjet cycle diagram for the efficiency as well as the ideal cycles as well as the real cycles of the ramjet engine. And here the pressure losses in the combustion section as well as the uh, exhaust uh, is increased within, uh, at the exhaust section of the ramjet cycle, ramjet cycle engine. And to find out the specific pimples of the ramjet engine compared to the other engine, ramjet engine is a uh, little bit higher compared to the other engines. Uh, Spruce engine is much higher than compared to the turbojets as well as ramjets and uh, turbojet engines. This is the exact diagram for the ramjet engine. Ramjet engine is uh, nothing but similar to the ramjet engine. Generally, it is uh, used for uh, reducing the sh shock noise that is formed in front of the engine as well as uh, reduce, uh, reducing the drag, reducing the drag that is formed in the in the, in, uh, over, the uh, over the body of the engine. Generally, it's, uh, it's having a supersonic compression that is when the airplane is moving forward so that only the compression is uh, uh, taken by means of the compression chamber and a supersonic exhaust is uh, means of the Mach number generally it is having a Mach number up to 15 uh, compared to the other engines next let us see about the, what are the general systems used in, for, in the aircraft engines first one is inlet inlet is generally it is located at the leading edge of the engine generally it is used for uh, surface sufficient uh, that is enough of mass flow rate to the uh, engine combustion as well as the engine rotation for the producing the thrust. So here the lip angle in the nozzle is deciding the uh, turbo fan as well as the turbo probe engine of the uh, inlet section. And this is the exact section shows the where the inlet is uh, located at the turbo jet engines as well as the turbo fan engines. And next one is exhaust system. Exhaust system is nothing but uh, it uh, includes uh, exhaust cone as well as the exhaust nozzle and uh, thrust reversal in the nasal uh, structure of the aircraft. These are all the comes under the exhaust system of the uh, aircraft engines. Here the diameter of the nozzle is maintained to get more thrust force by means of uh, constricting the flow from the combustion chamber. So the constricting the flow is uh, done by means of the uh, by means of the throat within the nozzle section and it is inter interfered with the nozzle as well as the turbine chambers of the aircraft engines. The next one is thrust reversers. Here this is the diagram shows where the thrust reverser is uh, fixed within the engine section. And the generally thrust reverser is used to provide the reverse thrust for the aircraft, aircraft when, he, when it is flying. So it uh, helps to landing the, sh landing the uh, short runway as well as the short landing generally thrust reversers are used right? so by reducing the brake system as well as the deacceleration of the aircraft so this purpose only thrust reversers are used to used in the aircraft engines and next one is operability uh, generally it is used to operate anything in the propulsion system which is nothing but the fan cowl, uh, mid body cowl as well as the uh, valve system which is included in the fuel system as well as the what are the systems used in the 
uh, engine section is issued through to control as well as to operate the engine system. And next one is fuel storage. Generally, fuel is used to store in the several places uh, place in the aircraft so the, within the uh, fuselage section as well as the engine sections of the aircraft. So it is uh, generally it uh, supplies the fuel the, throughout the engine as well as uh, throughout the um, fuselage of the aircraft. So it's generally it is for a combustion process as well as uh, uh, hydraulic system for the aircraft system. Next one is sensing units. Generally, sensing units is used to find the status of the fuel level in the tank as well as the, to find the temperature in the engine body. So generally, there are uh, several sensing uh, sensors are used to find out the fuel fuel level as well as the temperature of the engine. First one is uh, electric magnetic sensor, and second one is magneto resistance sensor. So generally, used to find out the temperature pressure as well as the fuel fuel level of the aircraft engines and final one is installed, installed performance generally installed performance are used through to uh, calculate as well as the uh, analysis the performance as well as the uh, losses and heat is, is, dissipation within the engine section so installed performance are uh, it is used to calculate the losses as well as the heat dissipation is heat dissipation within the engine section so uh, this is all about the design performance as well as the analysis of the air vehicle propulsion or aircraft propulsion system. Generally, nowadays, uh, the major, major engine manufacturing comp companies are currently involved to reducing the drag as well as the reducing the loss of the engine. So, so main computer, main main engine computers like uh, General Electric Aviation and uh, Pratt and Whitney and Rolls Royce companies are uh, generally involved to reduce the drag as well as the increasing the efficiency of the engine as well as the increasing the performance of the engine and reducing the noise of the engine these are the currently involved in the uh, engine markers as well as the engine company uh, so this is the brief description about the air vehicle propulsion design and performance analysis of the aircraft engine thank you